Welcome to Institute of Quality and Reliability. Hi, this is Heyman. Kaplan Mayer Non Parametric Product Limit Estimator. Why Kaplan Mayer method? In light data analysis, we try to model the data in the form of a mathematical distribution such as Weibull, exponential, log normal, or other distributions. Sometimes the data may not fit into any of these distributions or models. In such cases, we may need a non parametric approach to estimate probability of survival or reliability at specific time. Edward Kaplan worked on lifetime of vacuum tubes in the repeaters of sub-oceanic telephone cables while at Bell Labs and Paul Mayer worked on duration of cancer. While as they both independently submitted their research to the Journal of American Statistical Association, whose editor then encouraged both of them to submit a joint paper instead, which they did in 1958. Let us see how to perform calculations of Kaplan Mayer product limit estimator. The Kaplan Mayer estimator is used to calculate reliability function empirically from lifetime data. It is given by this formula that is multiplication of this function nj minus rj upon nj, j is equal to 1 to i and i can vary between 1 to m. So you have to calculate this for every term. Now there is one more calculation which is the failure rate at time tj which can be calculated as rj upon nj into delta tj that is the difference in time between previous failures and this failure, this step failures where m is the total number of data points, n is the total number of units, delta tj is the time taken for rj failures, the variable nj is equal to n minus summation of failures in the previous times, that is summation of rj. Now this may not be very clear from this formula, so let us look at this calculation on Microsoft Excel with an example. This table shows data of 10 components of which some of these components have failed. For example, the first component has failed at 150, the second one didn't fail at 350, etc. Data is arranged in ascending order in the column Tj, where T is the time for Jth component and J is the rank tabulated in this column rank J. Now, the components which have failed, we will put one because each row represents only one component and wherever there is no failure, we will put a 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. The reverse rank nj can be considered as the number of components under risk just prior to that tj time. So just prior to 150, all 10 components are under risk. So I put 10. At 350, since one component has failed, 9 are under risk. So it can be represented with reverse rank also. Okay. Now we apply the formula nj minus rj upon nj. And these terms we have to multiply later. So let us calculate this term equal to nj is now the reverse rank minus rj divided by nj and I calculate this for all 10 numbers only thing is that we can make this as blank but we will do that later and the reliability is the multiplication of all previous terms for the first term it will be the same term because there is no previous term for the second one, it will be multiplication of the first and the second. 
and now this already has got multiplication of the first two so for the third term i can use this 0 0.9 into 0 0.88 and so on so i can just copy this wherever there is no failure i'll just make it blank for the purpose of understanding so we will now plot the reliability as a function of time and we select tj column and rtj column and just insert recommended charts yeah so that is the recommended chart and we can easily use that so this this chart shows reliability as a function of time the x axis is time and the y axis is reliability i can of course add titles and change font or color as required this is the chart that represents reliability at any time tj based on the kaplan meier calculations let us now see an example of grouped data 25 units are put to test and time to failure of different units is tabulated in the column time to failure as seen here the delta tj column shows time difference between consecutive steps that means between time to failure 11 and 9 it will be uh, 2 etc etc and from 0 to 9 it is 9 so it is just calculated as difference between consecutive failures reported the number of failures reported is tabulated in column rj so number of unit at the beginning of a particular time interval at zero time we start with 25 units and here also just prior to this step the nj will still be 25 because we are talking about just prior to this time but for the next interval it will be 25 minus number of failures in the previous step that is 4 so i can copy this formula and i can say that the last point will be 1 now we calculate the term nj minus rj upon nj for each step that is pretty straightforward we just use the formula equal to nj minus rj divided by nj of course we have to put a bracket for the numerator so for the first step it will be obviously one for the next step we just calculate in the same way we can do that let us do it for one more step nj minus rj is now 4 so 21 are left divided by 25 so that gives me 0.84 i copy this and i get different values of reliability for each step let us continue our calculation now for reliability which is equal to the multiplication of nj minus rj upon nj terms so for the first row it will be just the same value because there is no previous term for the second term it will be the first term into the second term and now this becomes multiplication of the first two terms so i can use this for the next term that is 0.84 star so that is 0.8 and now you, since all are failures i can copy this formula we can also calculate the failure rate lambda tj for each step and that is given by rj upon nj into delta tj so i calculate the failure rate we will start calculation from the second term because in the denominator there is delta tj and for the first term it doesn't exist so i'll just use the formula equal to rj i select 4 divided by let us put a bracket nj is 25 star delta tj is 9 for the second row so the failure rate is 0 0.0178 i can copy this formula 
and here is the failure rate for all the uh, timings. We can also plot of time to failure versus reliability. So I select time to failure, press control button and then select reliability column and, and I can insert recommended chart. It could be this one. You could choose other charts also. So this is reliability of time, uh, reliability versus time. So X axis is time and Y axis is reliability. I can also plot the graph of time to failure versus failure rate. So for that I select the next column, insert recommended charts and I get the failure rate. So these are the charts for failure rate and reliability. The Kaplan mare is often used to estimate probability of survival in case of certain types of diseases such as cancer or kidney failure or many other diseases. Let us do a Google search for that. So I am doing a Google search on Kaplan Mayer survival analysis and I just go to uh, one of the websites. There are many websites but I go to this one. Yeah, I find an article from a journal and this is about kidney disease and population health but it will be similar in case of uh, the procedure will be similar in case of other diseases. So this is about survival analysis the kaplan mayer method and it shows the probability of survival in case of different types of patients. You can go to the article uh, on your own. I am just showing one table for two different types of patients. So this shows cumulative survival table in 20 non-MM patients and 20 MM patients. So MM and non-MM are categories for medical purposes. And the first table shows about non-MM patients and time in days is 0, 37, 50 etc. Number at risk. So similar procedure is followed as we have shown in our earlier two examples and population surviving on this day and cumulative survival probabilities have been calculated in a similar manner. The website article also shows graphical output below that and you can see that output over here and the first one shows survival probabilities. The lower one shows MM category of patients and the dotted one shows non-MM category of patients. This is the survival probability. This is cumulative survival. Now on the right side you have cumulative uh, mortality probability. So 1 minus probability of survival is also shown. In case of the this one is uh, MM and the lower one is uh, non-MM and uh, cross points are sensor points. You can browse and go to more details in this article or many other articles. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you found it worth watching. Please subscribe to Institute of Quality and Reliability channel if you want to watch more videos on Reliability Engineering, Six Sigma and Statistical Quality Control. Click the subscribe and bell icon for getting intimations on the future videos.